So in this video, we're going to walk through formatting numbers in Java using the number format class. When you're programming, one of the things you have to think about is the format of your output. And that's especially true when we have floating point types like double, where we could have an arbitrary number of decimal points. And oftentimes we want to round things together. And another thing that we're going to use a lot is going to be formatting percents, formatting money. So here I have an example where we have an income tax rate, we have a salary, and then we're going to calculate the weekly taxes paid by this salaried employee by first calculating their weekly wage and then multiplying that by their tax rate. So if I run this, you can see the yearly salary, the weekly pay, and the taxes. Now, if I didn't tell you what these fields are, do you have any way of knowing that these represent money or percents? In fact, I would even go further than that to say, would it be possible at all? These values, the way they're displayed, are very aggressively indicating that there's something other than monetary values and percents. So fortunately, this is something that's so common that Java provides us a special class called number format. And we'll start with the percent format. I'm going to create this percent format object that's going to take the result of calling get percent instance. And so what this does is this creates an object that's a number format that's set up to handle percents. Instead of doing what I did above, where I just printed out the income tax, I'm going to pass this double into the percent format format method. And when I run this, you can see that now my percent is formatted nicely. So this object comes from the get percent instance of a number format. And then when I call percent format dot format and pass in a percent, it formats whatever I pass in as a percent. So it was 0.2, now it's 20%. And that's the percent format. Now to format money. It's going to be the, almost the same thing, but we're going to call the get currency instance. And now let's take our yearly salary and pay. And I'm going to comment the old ones out. And this is without number format. This is going to be with number format. And I'm going to do something similar as I did with the percent. I'm going to say, let me close this so I can see the whole code. I'm going to say money format format. And then I'll pass in the salary. I'll do the same thing with the weekly wage and also with the taxes. Now here, this is getting a little bit long. So I think I'm going to do a new line and then I will money format, format taxes. So here it's the same code I had before. And that's something that it's important to keep in mind when you're using this, it may be confusing. Like how does this work and so forth? Get your code to work to where you're getting the correct output, then worry about putting the formatting on top of it. So now when I run, you see that I get my monetary values and my percents neatly represented. So I didn't have to use any sort of rounding or anything like that. It just worked as is. So that's how you format numeric and percent data in Java using the number format class.